All right guys, so today we're going to stay at a haunted Airbnb. Supposedly one of the most haunted Airbnbs in America. Now Chelsea's been wanting to do this for a long time now, so she's finally getting her wish. Are you excited or what? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just worried you're gonna chicken out. I'm chicken out? I'm not scared of a little ghost here and there. Okay, we'll see. We're almost there, are you getting nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, come on. Why are you nervous? You got me to protect you. You can't protect me from a ghost. Hey, that ghost better be scared of me, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're almost there and we are in the middle of nowhere. All right, guys. We are finally here. And... Who is this? Who is that? I have no idea. Are you pranking me? No, seriously, I don't know who that is. Well, let's go introduce ourselves. Hello, I'm David. This is my wife, Chelsea. Hi. And you are? My name is Atticus. I will be your host this evening. Um, I wasn't aware we had a host. Well, now you know. You will be staying in my home, of course. Wait, you're going to be staying with us? No, you will be staying with me. Yeah, man, you know what? I think we'll just find another Airbnb. <laughs> Babe, don't be rude. It's just for one night. It's not that big of a deal. <gasps> okay, fine. Excellent. I'm sure we will have a marvelous time. So, uh, Atticus, what's the story behind the house? It's supposed to be haunted, right? My grandparents built this house in 1942. I've had many great memories in this house, but I've also had memories I wish I could erase. So, did something happen to your grandparents in this house? David! What? It's supposed to be haunted! Let's just say some guests who have stayed in this house, unfortunately, were not able to make it out. Okay, Atticus, I think we're gonna go unpack. Hey, look, I'm no genius, but something tells me it is time to go. I thought you weren't scared. What happened? Babe, you heard what the man said. Some people didn't make it out of here. And you believe him? <laughs> Why don't you go take another look at what he's wearing and tell me if you believe him? Babe, plenty of people dress like that. I have a friend who has the same outfit. Who the hell is your friend, Dracula? Hey, be nice. It's only for a night. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually staying here. So, uh, Atticus, are you sure you don't have anything to do tonight, man? Maybe do some grocery shopping, or maybe go drink the blood of a unicorn or something? Oh, no. I don't usually drink the blood of the innocent until around midnight. <laughs> That's a good one, Atticus. That's a good one. <laughs> Why is he not laughing? Look, I really don't know about this anymore. This guy is seriously creeping me out. He's probably just had a hard life, David. Take it easy on him. Chelsea, I think we're going to have a hard life if we don't get out of here. David, the worst thing I've seen about this place is a couple of bugs. And I'm not calling a bug exterminator when we're only going to be here for one night. A bug exterminator? How about a vampire slayer? I think that's what we really need. Just relax. It's going <laughs> to be fine. Can you hand me my water, please? <gasps> yep. Here you go. Ow! <sighs> oh! What the hell are you doing in here, man? I told you. This house is full of evil spirits. I came in here to protect you. How about you go in the living room and protect me from there? As you wish. I told you something was up with this guy. I think you just hurt his feelings. Are you kidding me now you're taking his side? Yeah, you probably just broke his heart. Vampires don't have hearts. He's not a vampire. Now go make uh, sure he's okay. This is absolutely crazy. Hey, Atticus, look, man, I didn't mean to be rude back there. I was just... Hey, man, what... what were you just eating? I was just eating a salad. Would you like some? Why did that salad look like a finger? Why don't we go to the basement and talk about this? Uh, I'm good, man. I actually have to go to the bathroom. Babe, it is time to go. I just walked in on that man eating a finger. You need to chill out. You're embarrassing yourself. What? You you think I'm kidding? Yeah, you're just trying to scare me. Oh, Chelsea, come in here and see for yourself. Oh. 
Babe, I'm telling you, that man was just awake gnawing on somebody's finger. Really? Because it looks like he's asleep. Oh, babe, I'm telling you. Oh, you mother... Look, I'm sorry, but I will sleep in this hot tub if that's what it takes to be away from this guy. It's starting to seem like you're jealous. <laughs> jealous of what? Jealous because he's eating somebody else's fingers and not mine? It's like no matter what I do, I can't get away from this guy. Is something wrong? You seem stressed out, David. How about a massage? We are not about to be this man's next victim. We are leaving. You didn't even give him a chance. A chance to what? Bring us to his dungeon? Maybe if you would actually try to talk to him instead of being rude, this trip wouldn't completely suck. Oh, so now this is my fault. It is your fault. You need to go in there and make it right. <laughs> Chelsea, I swear this is the last time I'm doing this. Hey, Atticus, look, man, did, did you want to talk about all this? I know we've kind of had a rough start. I just really wanted to say sorry. No need to apologize, David. It's me who owes you an apology. And a... An apology for what, though? For what I'm about to do to you. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> babe! Babe! Babe, we gotta go! Babe? Babe! I tried to tell you and you don't listen! What happened? You end up just like every white girl in every scary movie. I'm sorry, baby, but I told you it was time to go. You're right. It was time to go. Ah!